So I was gonna show you guys what my favorite dessert is because I made it last night. It's the Oreo Jello No Bake dessert. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but you can literally make it in 15 minutes and it is, oh! It is literally the best shit you will ever have. My mom makes it every like special occasion. She makes it for my brother, but I'm the one that eats it. I don't even think he really eats it like I eat it. So it's it's made for him, but it's, it's I'm always the one that eats that shit up. So. I mean, mom, you should know now that that's kind of my shit now. So I was going to do that. I have it in the fridge. Maybe we could do that um, a couple days forward. But I had this random idea. What if I showed you guys my top five favorite candy bars? Because, you know, I'm a candy whore. Let's just get that out the way. Also, um, sorry, no new tattoos. But I am getting a new one soon. So stay, stay tuned for that. I know I, I usually get them a lot faster. But, I mean, I do have the uh, devil right here. That's a new one the uh sword right here that's a new one and then the bat that's a new one but we need newer we need newer okay a lot of people get just blasted okay and i just i want to get blasted like i want to i just want to have tattoos everywhere you know i guess i guess i'm gonna do that you know i, I want to get bigger pieces because i realized if i get a lot of small pieces i'm gonna run out of ideas and it takes me so much longer so you know sometimes people get a full sleeve like a full half sleeve on their forearm in one day i know it seems like i'm getting a lot of tattoos but it's just because i get so many small ones <laughs> i'm working on getting bigger ones would i ever get a face tattoo no i could never get a face tattoo johnny is crazy for that he got three two bats and the moon just out of nowhere i'm like dude holy shit that's crazy, but it suits him, you know? He's It goes with this emo look. I don't think I could pull it off. I would look like a crackhead. So let's get into these top five candy bars. I'm a big sucker for candy. I will, I will, I will reef blower. No, what's it called? What's the thing that sucks? A vacuum. I will vacuum candy. I love candy. I'll, I have the palate of a five-year-old and I'm, I'm not ashamed of that. It's because I have taste, bitch. We're gonna start with number five, the Kit Kat. I got the big size because at 7-Eleven they told me if I got the big size, it's actually cheaper. So shout out to the clerk at 7-Eleven. What are Kit Kats, if you don't know, if you're living under a rock like Patrick? Crisp wafers and milk chocolate. I mean, look how beautiful that is, dude. I just feel like candy's so fun. It's the colors of it. You know, they say that colors, crazy colors appeal to little kids, but I think they do to adults too. You know, I was pretty upset whenever all the fast food places started turning gray. You know what? I know why that is. You wanna know? Sorry, I'm such a yapper today. It's because whenever places like Chipotle and Subway were on the rise, it put this thought into everyone's head that, hey, fast food can be healthy. We could go to Chipotle, we could go to Subway. Subway's green and yellow, it shows freshness, and Chipotle's gray and it shows matureness. And all these places like Burger King and McDonald's were like, oh no, we only appeal to children because we're these bright, fun colors and adults aren't coming here anymore. So then they started turning gray. And also there's a conspiracy theory that McDonald's McDonald's put poop in Chipotle and had the E. coli outbreak to slow them down because Chipotle was in the lead. Sorry, fast food facts. My apologies. Let's carry on. Let's get into this Kit Kat bar. The only thing I don't like about Kit Kat is it doesn't have a way to open it. Like, where the hell do I open this shit? It doesn't even tell me. It doesn't even give me direction. Okay, I'm gonna do it with my teeth. Oh, wait, to open. Oh my god. Lift, flap, and tear end. Okay, I've never done this before. Oh, oh, dude. Yo! Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh! Look at that, baby. Look at that beautiful Kit Kat bar. Look at that beautiful goddamn Kit Kat bar. Best part, hear that snap, baby. You ready? It was subtle, but it was nice. Kit Kat, here we go. For having so much wafer, it's actually crazy how much chocolate flavor you taste. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kit Kat's really good. That'll be my five. I don't usually go out and get a Kit Kat, but when I was browsing around in 7-Eleven, I was definitely thinking, yeah, it's up there when I was trying to choose. Hey, Jake, share some with us. Uh, no. Number four is the Crunch Bar. Is this controversial? Ew? Come on now. Crazy take? Come on! Dude, you guys suck. You guys don't have taste. So the crunch bar is creamy milk chocolate with crisp rice. Oh my god. That looks like my face in eighth grade. Oh my god. Look at that presentation. That is a beautiful presentation. You gotta admit. It's, I mean, it's better than Kit Kats, I would say. Look at the back. I mean, that just screams fine. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's definitely a better break than Kit Kat. Here we go. The crunch. Mmm. 
If you think about it, it's pretty close to a Kit Kat, I would say. It has the same idea, but you know what? I think Crunch Bar is just a little more fun. This is for the Brits. Number three is the Cadbury Caramello. I've recently had this for the first time, and I mean, I, I think it's pretty big in the UK because the UK is all about their Cadbury. I'd say US is more Hershey's centered, but yeah, the UK is more Cadbury centered, and I've had their hot chocolate recently. It's kind of butt cheeks. You have to like pour a whole gallon of it into it to even make it taste like chocolate. You hate the UK? Oh my God. What, uh, uh, what the hell did they do to you? The UK is crap? Dude, what's up with all these UK haters? What's going on? Grandma ass chocolate? You guys suck. Hey, why don't you fucking kick rocks? It's milk chocolate and creamy caramel. Let's get into it. You ready? Oh, dude. Oh my god. Let's go. I would say that the crunch bar still takes the- Oh my god, dude! What the hell? It's got a bukkake on the back. The crunch bar still takes the cake with presentation, but this is nice. Does it have any writing on it? Oh yeah. It says Cadbury. Oh my god. No sound, but dude. The jizz on that thing is crazy. That was- that was gorgeous. This definitely deserves a three. Let's get into it. Oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. It just does not get better than that, dude. Well, it does. This is number three. That's just like an experience, you know? If you don't like caramel, grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. If you're allergic to peanuts, grow the fuck up. There's just, I mean, anything that has peanut butter or caramel is, is just, it's always gonna win. Or cookies and cream, it's always gonna win. Number two is Twix. Crunchy cookie, delicious caramel. I'm telling you, it's the caramel, dude. It's, it's what gets me. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, dude, look at that. Yes, it looks like a fucking turd, but isn't that the most beautiful turd you've ever seen? Like, that's like a turd that the Queen of England would push. God rest her soul. She was so young. It has, like, cock veins on it. Sorry. Sorry, I need to... Sorry. Sorry. My, I need to fix my brain. Not a good presentation. They could... If they wrote Twix across it, then that would have been a lot better. But, uh, let's, uh... <coughs> let's get into it. It just don't get better than that. You know what? I think I'm gonna put the Cadbury at number two. I like the Cadbury more than that. We're doing the switcheroo. The Twix is good, but I mean, the Cadbury is definitely way better. Cadbury number two. This is controversial. Guys, this is drama, this is tea. It's crazy when you try things back to back. You realize which one you actually like more. You don't usually try things back to back. I swear, if you try things back to back, you start to realize when you actually like something more than the other. Number one, my all time favorite candy bar <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Can we get a round of applause? Can we get, actually, can we get a drum roll? Can we get a drum roll? Here we go. The Reese's. Outrageous bar. The best goddamn candy bar I have ever had in my fucking life. Chocolate candy, pieces candy, peanut butter, and caramel. So, it's a chocolate bar with peanut butter and caramel and Reese's Pieces in it. It's actually fucking unreal. Now you guys know that I love texture. I mean, anything that has a lot of texture is probably gonna take the cake. Oh, dude, look at that. It's definitely the most dog shit looking one there is, okay? But for good reason. You guys ready? This is my favorite candy bar of all time. If you guys have never tried this, please try it. Please try it. That looks scary. It's a turd. Seriously, you guys have the palette of Johnny. That looks like a constipated turd. Actually, it looks like a turd after, um... Dude, holy shit. I have to go in one more time. I drilled! Ah! I just drilled. Did I just come? I mean, if I did, it was, it's none of your business. Holy fuck, dude. Get me away from that. <coughs> Get me away from that. That shit is gooder than a bitch. I would slap it on a hose ass. He definitely creamed his pants. Okay, let's, guys, so what if I did? So what if I did? You say Reese's like Reese, Rasses. Um, it's pronounced Reese's, okay? Sorry. D I might have to do a little lecture with you guys. 
It's not called a Reese's. And this is this is literally factual, and you cannot argue with me here. Like, there's no argument. It's a bunch of pieces of Reese's. If we're talking about Reese's pieces, it, they're pieces of Reese's. They're Reese's pieces. They're not Reese's pieces. What the fuck is a PC? They're pieces. They're pieces of Reese's. They're not Reese's pieces. What the fuck is a Reese's pieces? I hope you guys didn't disagree too much with my top five. Let me know what your top five is down in the comments. If you guys want to be a part of this live audience, go to twitch.tv slash jacober69. Shop my merch at jakemerch.com. Um, I have a few items that are leaving. Um, I believe I, I'm taking away the no-name shirts. So make sure to get one while you can. Shout out to my mods. Shout out to chat. Shout out to everyone that subbed, donated, everything. Love you guys so much. Peace.